Thanks for joining us as author Dwayne Anderson presents the diagram, You Can Receive Forgiveness of Sins. In this video, we'll be looking at page one of this diagram. The link for the diagram can be found in the description below. Join us now as Dwayne teaches through the section, And Sin Entered, Part 2. One of the things that we see is that Satan can only tempt us three ways. Because it tells us in 1 John 2, 15 through 17, Do not love the world or the things of this world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. So we see that here are three ways that Satan tempts us. First of all, he tempts with the lust of the flesh. Secondly, he tempts with the lust of the eyes. And third, he tests with the pride of life. The lust of the flesh, he wants us to satisfy our body. If you look at advertisements, they all try to make you dissatisfied with what you have so that you will want something. And many times it's for your body. It may be something that's good, but in itself they present it to get you to have a strong desire. The word lust means to have a strong desire for. As we see here, that's the first way Satan can tempt us. Secondly, the lust of the eyes. Do you see this? Do you see whatever it may be? Most of all, Satan, he focuses on the pride of life. We see that the tree is desirable to make one wise. So he says, do not love the world or the things of the world. Why? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Now, a very interesting thing, when Satan tempted Christ, he did that same thing. He used those same three ways. When Christ was uh, fasting in the wilderness, we see that after 40 days he was hungry. And in Luke 4, 1 through 12, the devil came to him and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. But Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Then the devil took him to a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. The devil said to him, All this authority I will give you in their glory, for this has been delivered to me, and I will give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship before me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then he brought him to Jerusalem, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, which incidentally is over 60 feet high, and said to him, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. And then Satan shows that he can quote or misquote Scripture as well. For he says, For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in their hands. They shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It has been said, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Now, notice Satan uses exactly the same ways that he used to test and tempt uh Adam and Eve. Because here we see it's the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. The lust of the flesh command this stone to become bread. And so feed yourself. If you're hungry, feed yourself. And then he says, all the authority I will give you and their glory. And he says, get behind me, Satan. It's written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. Here we see that he focuses on the eyes uh, and tempting him with the eyes. And Christ has victory. And then when he brought him to Jerusalem, sets him on the pinnacle of the temple, he says, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down from here. Then he quotes scripture too. But Jesus answered and said to him, it has been said, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Now we see a very key thing here. Christ answers Satan every time with scripture. And as he answers him from Scripture, we see that Satan tempts in the same three ways that he tempted Adam and Eve. We see that Christ 
always answers with Scripture, and he answers each temptation, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And so we see that Satan is limited in what he can do, but he uses what he can do to tempt Christians. So we see how Satan works, but we also see that Christ had victory over the very same things that we're going to see where Adam and Eve failed. You've been watching Dwayne Anderson review part two of the section And Sin Entered. From the diagram set, you can receive forgiveness of sins. Don't forget to watch the next video in this series. Thank you.